Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add sound effects to your transitions and projects to give them a little bit more of a cinematic feel. So in this case, I have this project that I've already done in the previous tutorial on how to create this smooth zooming out transition. So I have full videos on that, which I'll link. But once you create them, a good final step is to add a whoosh or something that adds to the motion of the effect. So you can see here, I've actually dragged in a little sound effect clip that I got from a website called freesounds.org. That's just one example. Do your research, find some different websites out there offering royalty free and copyright free or creative commons licensed sound effects and just make sure that the way that you're using them falls in line with the way that they're licensed and copyrighted out. So I'll link this one below. But as you can see, most of the times these sound effects will all come in one long sound clip, even though there's one, two, three, four, five, six different whooshes in there, but I don't want to use all the whooshes. So basically whatever editor you're in, just grab your razor tool, look at the sound form or listen to it a few times, and then mark off where you want to chop it and cut the sound effect. And then you can either get rid of the rest or delete it. And now you have your one whoosh to use. And then you pretty much just place it in between the cut or where the motion or transition is happening and it'll add that cinematic whoosh to it. If you want, you can right click and apply a little crossfade at the end. If your cut wasn't so smooth and a crossfade at the beginning, just to make sure there's no cuts on and off. And you can either click on the track and lower the level either to a certain amount of decibels, lower or higher, depending on how it's playing with your background music and whatever actual clip audio there is or you can actually keep all of your sound effects on their own track and then lower the overall track volume to a specific amount if you want to do it in that workflow there's no specific decibel level that is perfect for any project you kind of just have to listen to it and see how loud do i want this sound to be and just listen to it over and over and adjust from there from here i could just copy the same cut that i've used over different transitions that i want or go through and find different sounds so it doesn't get stale. And that's pretty much all there is to it once you get in the right position. And although this is just how to add a whoosh, the principles about adjusting the levels to your ear apply for no matter what sound effect you're adding in. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, definitely leave a like on it and let me know what you thought in the comments below. And make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for all my new future videos. Check out the playlist on my channel for more Premiere Pro and other videos. And follow me on social media at Justin Odisho on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter if you want to reach out or send me links or anything like that. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.